All right, so I've now placed the large bearing into the back of the rotor to the tapered side in. And now I'm going to press in, or I'm going to lightly tap in the bearing seal. Sure, my hammer is clean. Exactly where it needs to be. I'll grease up the spacer here. Hands up real quick so I can put the rotor on. Now, since I'm doing a full frame off restoration, as you can see in the video, I am not going to be using brake clean on the rotor, which I recommend you do after you've assembled. Or you could do it beforehand, it's up to you, it doesn't really matter. I don't like getting greases and oils on the rotors. So you want to make sure that there's nothing on there once you actually have calipers and the pads in, so that way the pads don't absorb any oils or greases. Okay. Okay. You want to be careful not to score or mar the bearing surfaces or the spindle. pretty good now it's gonna be a little wobbly because the outer bearing isn't in but it's gonna be putting that in right here tape it side in just like that okay and then we will add the keyed washer And then you are going to put the castle nut back on. I'm using the original just because, but this is a reverse thread on the driver's side. And I believe it is a one and sixteenth of an inch. And you want to tighten this down just to the point where you can fit the cast nut in and it's actually not uh, hindering this to spin. Because if you tighten this too much, it will stop moving because you put too much pressure against all the bearings. Pin. Oh, I gotta get this. There we go. Okay.
Let's look at that phone dead again. That's why. It's nowhere near there at all. There we go. So there's two spots. Got one dead center for the keyway. And one perpendicular to that. And you're going to want to fill this up with grease too, inside. You can put some down and in here, and you're going to want to put some inside your dust cap. Now these dust caps are brand new, so you might need to finagle them in a little bit. They might need some finessing, so I'm going to leave mine off for the purposes of the video for now. A little bunch in there. Bunch of happy grease. I'm just going to pack the dust cap just for the hell of it. Just for now. You want to make sure you use the right wheel bearing grease, otherwise it'll get too hot or it will not lubricate properly. All right, so we'll move on to the caliper, which when Caddy Daddy sends it to you, it is preloaded with pads already inside it. You will want to make sure that the springs are uh, tight enough on the pads that it's holding the pads in place. Otherwise, you might need to take them back out and uh, bend them a little bit so that way they stick where they need to stick. Now the pins or the pad, excuse me, the like I said, the pads are already loaded in here, and the pins and guide pins are also already put in here, so you don't need to go searching for them, which is kind of nice. Definitely want to make sure that these aren't inside the caliper hiding. Okay. What's kind of nice about this kit is that the uh, calipers kind of just sit and slide right into place. It's like a nice little groove and a chamfer for them to just go right in. Just give a little bit of a lift and then you should have space or you should feel the bolt and the caliper mate with the hole on the bracket. So now I'm going to turn all the steering this way so I have more access to use the wrench. I only turned the steering wheel this way so that way, or the steering this way so that way I can have better visual for you guys to see the video, uh, see the discs.
First one. Let's get the second one in. Just lift up a little bit. Put a little pressure against the bolt and it should mate with the threaded surface. Now, like I said earlier, you will need to file this Allen wrench down that they provide. It is a little bit on the tight side. Testing function, it looks like everything is working. Now, with the brake hose, you do need to pay attention to how you orient it because if you don't, it will rub against either the tire when it is for this side, it will rub up against uh, the tire when you have a full left hand turn. It will rub on the passenger side on a full right-hand turn. Um, so you have to be careful how you orient this. You want to test fit it a few times and try and see if you get it. I'm going to do this one, and I will show you how to do the other side as well, just for visually.